In this video, uh, we are going to discuss about differential past tense ter logic. So it is called as DPL or CPL. CPL means uh, complementary past tense ter logic. So the basic idea is um, it will accept uh, true and uh, complementary inputs. I will yield accepts true and complementary inputs, and it will produce us. Two uncomplementary outputs. So the example is it will produce uh, and and also an AND gate and uh, or and it will and their complement is NOR gate. Then XR and their complement is X NOR gate. So since the circuits are differential, complementary data inputs and outputs are always available. So in order to generate the differential signals, we require extra circuit, right? So it has an advantage of uh, having some uh, complex gates such as XR. So, <clears throat> due to the availability of this uh, polarities, of both polarities of every si signal, it eliminates the need of extra inverters. So, this will comes under uh, static logic, okay. This comes under static gates. So, it is also called as... Uh, Static CMOS, okay. Static CMOS are uh, sorry, just table is doing the interior. So, since uh, why it is called as uh, static gates means uh, the output of the uh, defining nodes, which is uh, either connected uh, either to VDD or ground through a lower resistance path. So why it is called a static gate seems a the output defining nodes in it's all of it all that sir always connected to Either VDD or Brown. Which is the chain for an HC and in the if you want to me. Through F, lower resistance path. So, this is the advantage of for. For the noise systems. So this design is a very uh, modular. So this uh, this designs of uh, library of the gate is very simple. Okay. And uh, the more complex uh, gates can be built by uh, cascading this uh, standard past tense modules. So first, uh, let us design uh, and and 
land gate. So Yeah, correct. So I'm going to give the same output for this two tons. Okay. Let me assume this is A and this is B. So therefore, this is A bar and B bar. Similar way, uh, in order to get uh, this as uh, uh, in order to get the output as A B, okay. So A into B. C A B. So this must be A B into B bar. What is B into B bar? B into B bar is zero. So A B plus zero. A B plus zero is C A B. In similar way, I can write this one as uh, A bar B plus B bar. A bar B plus B bar. That is nothing but A bar B bar into B plus B bar. B plus B bar is 1. So that is equal to A, A bar plus B bar. That is equal to A B the whole bar. So this this output is okay. Uh, this output is um, A B means out bar is nothing but A B the whole bar. So I will get two output. One is and gate and another one is NAND gate. So similar way, I'm going to design the OR and NOR gate. In this in the that little version is training me out. Good sir. So what I should, what I have to get, um, so instead of uh, B and uh, B bar, I'm going to substitute B bar and B. So my answer is A, A B bar plus B. So this is nothing but A plus B into B plus B bar. What is B plus B bar? B plus B bar is 1, so answer is a plus B. So this is my R gate. And here I will get A bar B bar plus 0. Because B, uh, B into B bar is 0. So this is nothing but A plus B the whole bar. So this is my out bar. So I am getting the complementary output. Okay. The similar way, <coughs> I am going to implement XR and XR kit. So, what is X, uh, XR gate? XR gate. So instead of uh, so I'm going to substitute A in A bar in this one is A bar A. Okay, I'm going to complement this one. Okay, so now you see this is uh, A B bar, A B bar plus A bar B. This is equal to A X R B. The similar way, this is nothing but A bar B bar plus A B. So this is nothing but A XR B. Okay, uh, let us see A XR B the whole bar. So now suppose the question is uh, they are asking to find um, y is equal to a dot b dot c dot d. Okay. So if that is the case, um, I'm going to
complement this uh, values right so for this uh, for this one i can take uh, and gate right so this is my and gate right so this is my x right this is my x that is a dot b and the x bar is uh, a dot b the whole bar okay in another way in similar way it can implement uh, some new term in so as is it okay so this is uh, nothing but uh, this is t and t bar and this is uh, c d and uh, this is c bar d bar okay so this is my y so y is nothing but uh, c d and y bar is nothing but c dot d the whole bar so i can write this is equal to x dot y okay so uh, i have find out the values of uh, um x and y right so i need to multiply these two terms so therefore okay. now <coughs> can change this one to xy right this is xy and this is x bar y y bar and this one is y y bar so if i do i'll get this is xy and uh, this one is x bar y so what is x y x y is nothing but my uh, a dot b into c dot d well, now yeah yeah so i've got uh, both of the state so a dot b into c dot d the whole one i got uh, my output and i, uh, I also got the uh, its complementary value so so this may uh, reduce the overall count of my overall transistor count my of my circuit so this uh, concept is very simple and so the advantage of this one is it is simple and the modular logic state so i'm getting a true and complementary output right this is my true output and this is my complementary output. So and the structure is very attractive for adders and multipliers. Next, it's a uh, disadvantage. so it suffers from static power dissipation and uh, it uh, and it has reduced i's watch so we know that uh, if i give the value of 1 i will get uh, only uh, if the input is vdd means uh, output i am going to get only vdd minus vt 
So this will uh, reduce my noise patch. So it can be overcome by using uh, level two storage. Okay. Or you can use a, a transmission gate to overcome this problem. Or you can use a multiple threshold transistors. So this can be overcome by using a level restoration. The second one is so using transmission gate. And uh, next one is using multiple threshold transistors. 